you invested in Nimic. And now you want to know what will happen with your favorite coin. Well, all you have to do is to take a broad view, look at the big picture, and there you will find all the answers to your question. Because remember, big time frames are the dominant ones. So today we are going to look at Nimic versus US dollar, but also versus Bitcoin on the monthly and the weekly charts. Let's take that broad view, that big picture perspective, so that it all becomes clear. But before we do that, let's take a quick dive into top coins and the overall crypto market. Roar with me! If you want to become part of our crypto pack and be regularly updated on your favorite coin, click the subscribe button. It's right below the video. We're welcoming you. And if you want to further support the channel and feed the dinosaur, in the description of this video you will find answer of where and how. And now fast forward to the crypto markets. It's fairly easy to deduct from this picture of the top coins, movers and shakers, that we are in a, some kind of consolidation. There is no an extreme move in either direction. Bitcoin is standing at 50723 Ethereum 460 Well, $16,000 still holding resistance for Bitcoin. It is mingling around this number and is fairly undecided. Where should I go? Should I moon through another roof of 16,000? Or should I fall back in my bed at 12,000? Well, if I fall, there is an option that I go into 14,000 on the first floor. I don't know. Yes, we have to wait for this little king to make a decision. But we don't have to wait to look at the Nimic versus US dollar and to take that big perspective on the monthly chart. Let's go. Here we are, Nimic versus dollar, monthly chart. Every candle represents one month and just because of that, every candle has a huge influence on the Nimic's price. Unfortunately, Nimic, as a young player in the game, has not developed enough price action for us to make a super detailed analysis, but we work with what we got. A lot of YouTubers won't do a coin technical analysis with so little price action. And that's understandable, there is not much to do. But I know you love this coin, and I don't want to leave you hanging. Let's see what we can come up with this. The most important thing we already talked about in our previous videos. And if you haven't, check those out. Because we made a price prediction on Nimic for this year or for the next year. This is the line. The line of life and death, as we would say it. It should be clear to you that it was once a huge resistance for the Nimic's price to go up. And as you can see, this was our bear market for Nimic. Now it's huge support. And just by looking at this line, is Nimic bullish or bearish in simple terms? As long as we hang above this line, we're good. And we are bullish because this move, this huge move, propelled us into air and out of the pit of bearishness. So we are just retesting on the monthly scale this trend line. After this retest and the check mark on the once resistant now support, there is a possibility of resuming to the upside. And yes, this kind of move can happen again. But take into account that this was a huge move. And sometime, if not retracing, because I think we're done retracing, then consolidating is needed for a healthy continuation to the upside you know so on the monthly generally we are looking good support is found let's see how the price reacts rest of this month and how this little green candle will close 
because in our previous videos yes we told you that at this point we're gonna meet some support and neglect this huge downside target. we are having right that right now what the volume is saying well it is indicating our top and people's interest in NIMIC versus dollar this was the July of this year when a lot of you the new traders investors wanted to buy this coin and for now declining volume is showing us a few things that the breakout could be near in terms of months and that we have to do nothing but wait at these times how about moving averages since this is a monthly chart I will put out a simple 10 month moving average because although it's a low period of 10 months it has a big significance because it's a monthly chart and as you can see all is good it's holding the price it held it last month and we are hovering around that moving average right now as long as we hold this 10 month moving average we're good we're in a bullish uptrend this is a super big perspective and now let's take a look at the weekly chart which is also a big perspective but a little detailed the weekly chart is telling us the same thing as the monthly but now look at this super resistance and super support last month phenomenal could Nimic do this yes it could it tested the support but fairly possible it will do this and then this okay so weekly is not telling us much different story than monthly especially volume you can see that this is july and the biggest buying power at that one week but don't be that guy you know i would advise you although i'm not a financial advisor that you be this guy low volume love interest in people a red candle not looking so good this is when you must come into the market what are moving averages telling us when if you follow this channel you know that i like 20 week moving average to be tested as a support for a healthy pullback this was not the case and we broke to the downside but no fears no fears and you know why Ta -da! 50 week moving average came to save the world Nimic you're good in the hands of 50 week moving average you can see the support clearly on this moving average so no sweat unfortunately this 20 week will now serve as a resistance and price could be moving in this box I already stated that in my previous videos so not to talk too much about it but until we wait this kind of move expect something like this okay and one more thing look at this point what is this a crossover of the 20 week and the 50 week it's an ultra bullish sign and if you follow the strategies of investing at these times you could be in a highly successful profit taking at about 1500 percent that's huge so those crossovers are not always bad you can make some serious money out of it you have an exit signal from that well no still not so once again i'm telling you all is good when we take a look at this chart don't be afraid i know this put a lot of fear into you do not be afraid all is good but what is nimic telling versus bitcoin let's head to that chart Uh, that's an ugly looking chart but nonetheless regardless wix and although in july peaked so high and lose a much of it well you can see this bearish candle and the development over the next few months versus bitcoin nimic is not looking so well and for now did not have a clear bounce but here comes the but a big but first of all volume same thing huge buying and I would say selling volume at this point for now nothing wait and wait but one line will give us a different story this is the line look at this look at this area of support 
and after the break look at this resistance those are monthly candles so although they look pretty shitty they are important and now what do you know a support do i expect nimic to break this line against bitcoin nope i expect it to hold maybe a replica of this move we'll see we might have a bounce right away or just replicate this and have a few months more of consolidation we will see moving averages 10 months not looking so good and you see why it failed to hold a strong support so we got nothing to do but to ask a mr 20 move month moving average and there he is to give us support which he is he's a good guy so look at this 10 monthly said nope i'm not interested but a 20 month moving average saying okay look at this i will hold you thank you mr 20 month god bless you a consolidation between these two moving average yep quite possible you might have to wait a few more months for this move of nimic versus bitcoin which could be completely wrong from my perspective and have a bounce right now weekly chart let's go same thing but a little clearer picture this importance support should make a joy in your stomach because for now nimic is testing versus bitcoin it's a final frontier but uh, think about it this kind of move i mean come on this was due to happen it's so unsustainable this rocket mode that we had to get this let us hold this line and all will be good okay volume pretty clear there you go biggest candle at the top and our boys moving averages well here's the 20 it did not hold here's the 50 it did not hold either but take into account this bullish cross to the upside of the 20 above 50 according to that we're still good when a 20 get below the 50 then we have some problem for now we don't have that so if you follow a crossover strategy you're good but where is that support 100 week moving average not a support either just a resistance so ladies and gentlemen for now there is no support on the moving averages on the weekly chart let me zoom in so we can see clearly all our resistances if not for any other reason this is your reason to expect some consolidation now nimic fell below this 100 week moving average and it will take some effort to break all of this tree to come again into this parabolic bullish mode okay so my final verdict for now bitcoin is winning nimic we'll see let's remove all this and if you want to feel safe here is your horizontal trend line your comfort zone as long as we support it there is a chance there is a light at the end of the tunnel for nimic versus bitcoin if you like this type of content put a thumbs up let me know that you liked it if you don't like this type of content well i'll suggest you other videos take a look at this here you might find something you like peace and love